you won't find any neon signs directing you to a Planned Parenthood clinic. This one in a southeast San Diego strip mall keeps a low profile, but it provides state-of-the-art care to nearly 100 patients a day. This is one of our exam rooms, and primarily we do a lot of contraceptive visits, and we do a lot of screening and treatment of STDs. This clinic has its own lab. So here we do um, pregnancy testing. We also do our in-house um, rapid HIV test, which is done really simple. It's just a finger poke and the patient has a result in 15 minutes. Planned Parenthood has 19 health centers in San Diego and Riverside counties. The nonprofit had a budget of $56 million in 2011 and treated more than 160,000 patients. The vast majority of Planned Parenthood clients are women. But longtime medical director Kate Sheehan says her clinics also screen men for sexually transmitted diseases. We're the largest STD provider uh, of testing in all of San Diego County. So we're, we're proud of uh, that service that we're able to provide to our clients. And uh, we have a very small percentage, only 5%, which is our abortion services. But it's the fact that Planned Parenthood provides abortions at all that makes it such a target nationwide. Recently, the organization's been under attack in many red states where lawmakers have been trying to cut off state funding. Dr. Sheehan says people who believe abortion should be banned or restricted should reconsider. It's a very needed service. Women die when you take away uh, access to abortion. I was a medical student before 1973 and I saw wards of young women dying from uh, lack of access to abortion. So. That's part of my compassionate uh, concern for protecting those, those rights. Indeed, like Dr. Sheehan herself, Planned Parenthood is much more than a health care provider. It's also a major advocate for women's health services and reproductive rights. California is generally receptive to their mission. After all, it's a pro-choice state. Even so, San Diego chapter president Dara DiGiorgio Johnson says there's a vocal minority who constantly assail her organization. She thinks it's because the issues that Planned Parenthood talk about are tough for some people to handle. Well, I think it's radioactive because I think the topic of sex, sexuality, women, women's reproductive health, women owning their sexual health is radioactive in general. I think it's for whatever reason, which I uh, don't quite understand and probably never will, uh, it's a very intimidating topic for people, both men and women, um, to feel like women are powerful and own their own sexuality and can express themselves and have choices. DiGiorgio Johnson thinks it's high time for a change. A culture change around sex and sexuality in this country would probably be a good thing if we were to shift over to um, a little bit more open-mindedness and a, having a conversation with our young people as opposed to trying to help them stay away from something that is ultimately inevitable. That's the message that Planned Parenthood volunteers try to spread in the community. At a street fair on San Diego's Rolando Avenue, volunteer her. Amy Dunford talks to people about the services at Planned Parenthood clinics. How to talk with your child about sex. <laughs> I do not know how to do that. Dunford was raised as a Mormon. Her parents warned her not to have sex before she was married. If you did, it was basically the worst thing you could do if you weren't married. So it was a very like a evil kind of thing that we didn't really talk about. Dunford says when she was in college, she realized that educating people about sex and how to prevent unwanted pregnancies makes sense. That's when she started volunteering at Planned Parenthood. Dunford says the organization doesn't promote sex. It just wants people who are sexually active to be safe. And that's why I, that's why I love Planned Parenthood and I come out here and support because it's all about health, having healthy relationships, healthy communities, building healthy families. Planned Parenthood wants to foster the next generation of advocates. That's why it sponsors a Teen Capital Day each year. The organization educates young volunteers about reproductive health bills pending in Sacramento. Then it sends teens to the Capitol to lobby their lawmakers. 16-year-old Katie O'Neill will be taking her second trip this spring. O'Neill says Planned Parenthood offers teens and adults access to reproductive health care. She can't figure out why some people are uncomfortable with that. I see no point in being so uptight about sex. Everyone does it except for like monks or nuns or something. <laughs> so it's good to be healthy. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.